The oil palm tree, Alice cunensis, an indigenous crop cultivated in West Africa, is one of a leading tropical vegetable oil worldwide. The capacity of oil palm production in total has been jumped by 128% growing strongly as 58 metric tons per year over the last decade due to the increasing in global population and oil consumption. Not surprisingly, it is the fourth largest contributor to the national economy of Malaysia and one of the major driving force for the country's agro-industry. Therefore, there are several existing issues that have significant impact to the oil palm production in Malaysia. The existing issue on crisis management in oil palm will be explained in the next slide. Oil palm is potentially producing economically viable volumes of fresh fruit punch over a lifespan of 30 years. But the peak crop yields are achieved from the age of 9 to 18 years and gradually decline after that. At present, it is estimated that 65% of Malaysia's total oil palm area is between the age of 9 to 28 years and older, while 26% is at least 20 to 28 years and older. This implies that the vast majority of tree have already reached or passed through their peak yielding years and we can completely predictable in declining of national production in the future year if any adequate steps are not taken to replant this aging tree in a timely manner. Ganoderma, a soil bone fungus, is an increasing concern for those who operate plantation in Malaysia as it causes infection to all palm trees. Ganoderma is a wood decaying fungus which can affect oil palm. A disease called basal stem rot can also be infected through this Ganoderma. A drastic fall of production of FFP is reported when infected by this fungus along with wilting and extreme dryness of leaf of palm tree. It is evident that without introducing better practice in palm cultivation or discovering antifungal treatment for Ganoderma, the fungal disease in future years can turn into a possible treat to a greater extent to this industry. Next, issues on crisis management in oil palm is labor shortage. For years, labor shortage has affected farmers even severely. The coronavirus pandemic has left Malaysia palm oil industry without enough worker, a shortage that could cause. Uh, farmers as much as 25% of their annual production. Malaysia economy relies on palm oil. It, it is most important agriculture commodity, but palm oil need migrant workers from Indonesia, Bangladesh, and India to do job locals want. As countries in Southeast Asia struggle to get the COVID-19 outbreak under control, government have tight restrictions on travel for workers both coming and going. The sudden rapid outbreak of the coronavirus has turned long-term challenge into short-term ones. The sector is currently recording labor shortage as ongoing lockdown. Major means palm oil estate are generally unable to recruit new foreign workers at a time when some employees have been repatriated to their origin countries due to the pandemic. Documented and undocumented Indonesia workers are the biggest contingent among Malaysia immigrant palm labor. When the country imposed its nationwide lockdown, many workers on short stay visa return to their country. Next is United States of America ban on Felda Global Venture Palm Oil Crisis. The latest news of the US ban on Felda Global Venture FGV, palm oil will further exacerbate the country's economic position when faced with the COVID-19 issues. FGV holding Berhad for a long time, the world leading manufacturer of crude palm oil and several other producers of oil used in anything from food to cosmetic to biodiesel have faced complaints from group regarding violation of labor and human rights. Why US ban FGV palm oil? Firstly, it is because they say FGV employs forced labor. The US claim that FGV company is taking on forced labor such as total of the 
physical and sexual violence, straight and identity storage. US also claim FGV company that child forced labor has been used in the palm oil production process. Next, uh, human trafficking. The ban by the US Custom and Border Protection Agency CBP follows after a human rights group called on US authorities to investigate FGV over concern over the US of forced labor and human trafficking in the company. Furthermore, it will give adverse effect on FGV. Company reputation and shares. Dropping the company reputation and shares even indirectly will have implication for almost 102,000 Felda settlers through Malaysia as well as an incurate picture of the country image on the issue of forced labor. As a conclusion, government must use political skills in formulating the country palm oil strategy so that Malaysia can focus on finding solution to the crisis over the ban on the palm oil export to the US as well as concern over the trade of palm oil export to the Europe Union. The next issue is certification and quality of oil palm production crisis. MSPO Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil is a certification used to coordinate the qualities of oil palm production where they granted to those farmer growers who obtain the certification is enabled to export their production of oil palm breakthrough into the local and international market. There is an issue involving smallholders who is undergoes oil palm planting where some of them does not follow the criteria of MSPO because of the certification is strict because it used to make sure all oil palm plantation applies good agricultural practice gap. Some smallholders want to take an easy way in various aspect operation includes selection of seed material and spraying chemical substances such as herbicide and pesticide that used to control the population of pests and disease outbreak. So that is really give challenging to the authorities such as MPOB to control the quality of the oil pump because of the smallholders does not give cooperation. Therefore, all authorities include MPOB agencies must to take some action getting them more familiarized regarding the right technique in oil pump planting to make sustainable the industrial especially in Malaysia for the long run. Next issue is oil palm ecosystem concerns crisis. In recent years, expansion of oil palm area in Malaysia increased gradually over the years to 4.2 million hectares from 54,000 hectares in 1960. This case eventually caused a lot of issues appears that leads to some people especially from abroad countries such as Europe start to have a bad perception on oil palm production due to the issues of deforestation that deplete the number of species flora and fauna. As resulting, the demand for product oil palm base is gradually decreased because of people have a bad perception about the oil palm product thereby most of people are tend to substitute to sunflower and soybeans oil. Decreasing of demand affect rate of price for that product to prevent the palm oil production to be surplus and wasteful. Therefore, the authorities such as Malaysian Palm Oil Board MPOB have to face this case and is needed to take some actions against discrimination and bad perspective by the abroad countries people in order to make sure our oil palm product can be accepted widely by all people to remain sustainability.